What is up guys, this is the Dropshipping Hacker here. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can edit your default photos that you get from products that you import from AliExpress. Um, and in, in this video, I've got this product here and I want to get rid of this logo up here or this brand name from the default photo. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that within your Shopify store. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe because I'm always putting out new tips and tricks on how to create and run your Shopify drop shipping business. And if you're looking for a free ebook on the six steps to creating and launching your first Shopify store, you can check out the link in the video description below to get your free ebook. And that'll go over the six step formula to creating and launching your first successful Shopify drop shipping business. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> All right, so what I've done is I've gone over to AliExpress and I've imported this product using the Oberlo Chrome extension. And as you can see, uh, this particular photo comes with this Top Vico, looks like it's a trademark name. And I just really don't want to have that in my photo. I just want to have a nice, clean, simple photo for this particular product. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that. It's really, really easy and simple to do that. You can do that by going into your store and clicking, clicking the edit this product and that'll open that up for you. Or if you log into the back office, you can go to the left control panel over here, click on products and then all products and then just scroll and find the product that you're looking to edit. Um, so in this example, it's this portable stainless steel wire saw and you can just click on that product and what you're going to do next is you're just going to scroll down to the image over here. So we got this image right here and then you're just going to highlight the image and you're just going to scroll over the pencil and that's going to be the edit image button right there. So just go ahead and click that. And so what you're going to do is you, you would think that you could just go ahead and erase that. Um, using the eraser, but that's not going to work in this example. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the pencil over here. Um, and again, the, the eraser is not going to work. The eraser is only going to erase marks that you've created. Um, so with this example, we've got a nice white background, so it's going to be very easy to do. So you're just going to click the color picker and just find the white, which is in the top left. And then I like to go with the bigger brush size and just go ahead and just brush right over it. And as you can see, I was able to get rid of that little logo brand name over there. And, you know, let's say that you accidentally messed up, you know, you kind of went a little, got carried away with it. This is where the eraser would come in handy. Um, so you just click the eraser button and then you can just sort of erase your mistake there. And then you can see, I can always come back and bring back that trademark. So I'm not going to worry about that. I just want to get rid of that. So again, I'm just going to pick white, the brush tool here, and I'm just going to get rid of that. And then all you're going to do is you're going to hit apply and then you're going to hit save. And that's just going to go ahead and that's going to update the product photo and that's going to update it in your Shopify store. And that's really it. I just wanted to share this cool little tip and trick that I found. Um, and of course, you know, there's different images. There might be some with different color backgrounds and such. Uh, so you're just going to have to play around with that. And there you go. It just updated it and it's gone. So it's looking nice and clean and crisp. That's how I like it. I like to keep my pictures nice and simple without all the clutter. And you can pretty much do whatever you want with these photos. But this was just a quick little video on how to get rid of that. Um, guys, if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe as I'm putting out new videos for you. Uh, just kind of showing you different tips and tricks out there on how to create success with your Shopify drop shipping business. Um, be sure to like this video if you found it helpful. Comment below if you have any comments. Uh, share this video with your friends. And if you haven't already signed up for Shopify, I do have a free trial available. So you can kind of go ahead and sign up for that in the link in the video description below. And you can play around and just start creating your first Shopify store absolutely for free. So go ahead and get your free trial there. And I also do have a free ebook available. 
and that ebook is available to you at www.thedropshippinghacker.com or by clicking the link in the video description below. That's absolutely free to you and it goes over the six step formula uh, blueprint for creating and launching your first successful Shopify dropshipping business. So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, with that said, this is Chris with the Dropshipping Hacker and I'll see you in the next one.